talk about a phantom. He's like a ghostly phantom, right? Because that looks like it's, he's probably super hype. But look at those black eyes. Black eyed Annery. That's where the black eyes come from. And he's paradigm. What's up, Snake fans? Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Serpents Daily. Today, we're going to be looking at two genes in boas that actually work together, meaning that these genes are actually located at the exact same location on the DNA strand. They're called the allelic. When two genes are the same genes that sit on the same when two genes can sit on the same location on a DNA strand, we call them uh, allelic to each other. Remember, there's always two copies of every gene. So if you wanna have an albino, you have to have two copies of albino. If you wanna have a T-positive albino, you have to have two copies of T-positive albino. Now there's a albino line in boa constrictors known as sharp albino, as opposed to the call albino line. And those two albinos are not compatible with each other, so they're not, located on the same location so we have two different lines and some people work with one some people work with the other so we work with both i work with both i like both lines but you can't breed one to the other because they don't you don't get an albino when you do that you get double heads because they're not located on the same location on the dna strand however there's a gene known as the boa woman caramel t positive so it's a t positive line of albino takes away some of the melon, but not all of it. They don't get red eyes. And this particular T-positive line is actually located on the same location, same locus, that's what the word locus means, as the sharp albino line. So when they, you get one copy of each, one copy of sharp albino, one copy of bow woman caramel, you get something known as a paradigm. Now, Mike Weitzman, of basically Bo is named that because I think he was the first person, he was the first person, I should say, to create that allelic combination. He bred a Bo woman caramel to a sharp albino, expecting to produce double hats. And he, what did he produce? He produced a visual, what he called paradigm. If you add the hypogene to that, we call it a paraglow. So just like a sun glow. So if you would have a sharp albino with the hypogene, we call it sun glow with a paradigm combination and the hypogene we call the paraglow. And this combination is very, very useful at producing very high contrast animals. Because remember, albino removes all melanin. T-positive removes some. When you combine the T-positive with the sharp albino and you produce that paradigm, you get still some melanin present, but a lot less than you would with just a T-positive. So you get a much nicer, in my mind, looking albino. And because you still have some dark pigments in there. And we call that the paradigm modesty. And we do many different combinations with them. And I'm gonna go into the snake room, in my snake room today, show you some of the combinations that I have and that I think are really cool. And maybe you guys will get interested and drawn into the project yourself and wanna get involved because I think it's a great gene combination. There's so much variability there and there's just unlimited possibilities of stacking this paradigm combination with other genes. Once again, it's just, it's making a, I think it's making a better albino because you still have some dark pigments. Remember, you put albino with a lot of genes, it, it just, it, they all look the same after a while, especially when they get to be adults, but with the paradigm combination, you just have a lot more contrast. So let's go into the snake room. I'm not gonna talk anymore and let's look at some snakes. Here's a beautiful, beautiful example of a sun glow which is a hypo sharp albino motley this snake also had is het for rdr black eyed anery gene which is not really relevant to the conversation we're having today because today we're talking about creating paradigms and paradigms are going to involve one copy of sharp albino, one copy of boa woman caramel, T-positive line, and creating that acts like super form that we call the paradigm. Now, it's important to see what a sharp albino looks like, however. This is not just a sharp albino, but this is a sun glow, which is a hypo sharp albino. It's also got the motley gene. You can see the striped tail there. Just a beautiful, beautiful snake. This is a sub-adult. 
So it's already, you know, getting its adult coloration. And you can see how beautiful this snake is. Here's a possible super hypo, a super sun glow, sharp albino. This is a more of an immature. This is less than a year old, this little girl. She's beautiful. She's got some tremendous, tremendous coloring in her. She's very clean looking. That's why I think she's a super hypo. We'll have to breed her, group her out though. Right now it's kind of impossible to really just make a prediction on that, but she looks super hypo to me. Just really nice. There's no Molly and Jean in this little girl. Here's another beautiful sharp albino, sun glow. They all look a little different, you know. Beautiful snake, great coloration. Just, you know, who wouldn't like to want to have a, uh, just a regular sharp albino? They're just beautiful, beautiful looking. All right, now here's what we call a paraglow. This is a hypo paradigm. So that's one copy of Bow Woman Caramel, one copy of Sharp Albino gives us paradigm, and then we add a copy of the hypo gene, and we get a really nasty pissed off snake. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, we have, a, this is a para glow, and you can see it has some, it has darkness in it. It's not completely devoid of black pigment like the sharp albino would be. So the paradigm or power glow even will give you some darkness, some browns, whereas the albino kind of removes any of that. All right, here's another beautiful, what I believe to be also a hypo paradigm. This actually could be a super hypo potentially or super power glow, but we have to prove that out. But that's, once again, one copy Bow Woman Caramel, one copy Sharp Albino. And we get this creamy looking snake that looks kind of like it could be potentially Albino or t positive. you're not really sure. But I know both parents, one parent was a Sharp Albino, one parent was a Paradigm. So I know we're gonna be getting either sharp albinos or we're gonna get paradigms. Everything has to be, so this is a paradigm. You can see no red eye and it's a beautiful snake. It's its own great, amazing contrast. Now this beauty right here, this big girl, is what we call a paradigm blood. So we have that one copy of sharp albino, one copy of Boa Woman Caramel, plus the recessive two copies of blood genes. So that's a paradigm blood. We're pairing her up with a really nice blood parahet right here. And the term parahet, and I've explained this in other videos, means that we don't, we're not really sure if she's either sharp albino or she's bow woman caramel, but she's one or the other. So we call it parahet, so we're not sure. Mike Weitzman termed that, made up that term. It's a good, really good term. This little boy's got some stuck shit on him, but so he's a blood, visual blood, and he's actually a hypo blood, and he's also Parahet. So that means that because this female will throw either sharp albino or bow woman caramel when she breeds, right? Because she's got both and they're both on the same allele. She's got to give one to the babies. He's got it. He is either sharp albino or bow woman caramel. We're not really sure because we, we can only call her him parahet. If he throws sharp albino, if, he, if that's what he is, then we could get sharp albinos or paradigms. If he throws bow woman caramel, then we can actually get bow woman caramels or paradigms. So we'll find out by the babies, if they produce you know, some apple offspring, what this male actually is. And then we, once we know what he is, we can mark it on his card and then we'll know for the future. Reference, is he, is he sharp albino head or is he head for bow woman caramel? We won't know. But everything in this, in this litter is gonna be blood because she's a visual blood and he's a visual blood. So that's cool. So good potential for this litter. And we'll have to find out what happens. Assuming they do uh, the, 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 the nasty deed, right? This boy is a novice. 
he has never bred with a female before, so we'll hopefully get some. She's actually a virgin too, so this is two new snakes that I've never bred breeding for the first time, hopefully. They seem to like each other. Now, this big female might look familiar because we just saw a smaller version of her, which she's a paraglow, meaning that she's a hypo paradigm. She's got one copy of Boa Woman Caramel, one copy of Sharp Albino, and the hypo gene. And she's also het RDR Black Eyed Airy, but that doesn't matter. We're just talking about paradigms and sharps. She produced those some of those babies you just saw before for me this past season. Really nice litter she produced. She even gave us some some super forms with the with the black eyed anery gene. And I'll even throw those in for good measure. Not that they have anything to do with what we're talking about, but just a beautiful, beautiful girl. Nice body mass. She put her size back on. She probably could breed again this year if I really wanted to push her. But I have a, another one, another female that I'm going to be breeding this year, who's a who's also a paradigm. So I don't think uh, I'm going to use her again. So we're going to give her the year off. I like to give the, the, the big girls one year off in between. The, the, sometimes the Central Americans can breed multiple years in a row. They don't seem to lose as much. She's pretty solid, though, and we'll see. Right now, I have no plans to breed her. Just looking around. All right, now, this is a phantom, which is a paradigm, okay? So that's it's actually a, probably a, uh, it could be potentially a super hypo paradigm, but, or I guess you would call that a super paraglow. But she's also, if you notice, there's no reds in her. It's because she contains that black eyed anery gene, the Ralph Davis reptile one. And if you look at her, she is basically, the reason they call it a phantom is because they, it's like someone sucked the lifeblood out of them, right? And it just, you just have this like ghostly look to it. And once again, that's the paradigm gene, or gene combination, I should say, with the hypo gene, with the black eyed anery gene. So it's kind of like a, a moon glow using the Ralph Davis reptile black eyed anery gene instead of the regular anery gene and using a, the paradigm combination instead of just albino. So pretty cool. I'll show you another one we have here. This one's lighter. This this one I believe to be a super. This is probably the super hype because he's a we're talking about a phantom. He's like a ghostly phantom, right? Because that looks like it's he's probably super hype. But look at those black eyes, black eyed anery. That's where the black eyes come from, and he's paradigm. So you can see you can make some really really cool combinations with this allelic combination, and I think a lot of people don't really know that much about it, and that's why it's important that you understand the, 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 the genetic interactions, which is that sharp albina with the bow woman caramel producing some really cool stuff. So that's super hypo, paradigm, black eyed anery. And you'll see the snake will never get yellow either because it not only does it remove red, which is what anery does, but it's almost like an azanthic gene too. It removes yellows as well. And I've shown you this girl before. She's exquisite. She is the uh, sharp version of what I just showed you. So instead of a phantom, we call this a blizzard. This is a super hypo, sharp albino. So you've got two copies of sharp albino. You can see the red eyes. And it's black eyed anery, the black eyed anery gene, which removes yellows and reds. So she'll, ne she'll never be anything but white her whole life with red eyes. So this snake will look like this its whole life, and it will actually get whiter. Right now it's like a pinkish white. And as they get older, they get like a really, really, really beautiful white cream color. So this is all made possible, you know, with that sharp albino, bow woman caramel, the Leela combination. Sometimes you have pure sharp albino. Sometimes you have the paradigm combination. And sometimes you have the bow woman caramel. I, w I wish I had a bow woman caramel version of this to show you. That would be pretty cool too. And that is an IMG sharp sun glow. So that's a hypo sharp albino. And then that IMG gene just makes it so much more vibrant. Look at the eye. It's really and a dark there red. Body in there. There's there's body there. Yeah, it's got a big body, you're right. And she's she's just exquisite. IMG 
paradigms would be really nice too. <laughs> You're scared, yeah. She's a big snake. She's a definitely a big snake, but she's a nice snake. And so I'd love to create an IMG paradigm. I think that would be really, really kind of cool. And she's nice. She's nice to the snake, yeah. So we can do that if we, if we use the right male on this girl. She's trained still. She, she's got trained still. She's got to be trained, yeah. She's got to be trained still. She's looking really nice though. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today here at Palumbo's Pythons and Boas. Hope you liked the little video I did on paradigm combinations and how to create them. And I'd love to know your suggestions for what you would like to see with paradigm because there's a lot of different possibilities out there. As a matter of fact, I'm working on several myself. I have some scorias that potentially could be uh, paradigm bloods. I have some sterlings which are patternless i'm trying to work the paradigm into as well so there's a lot i'm still i haven't done and accomplished that i'm still working on and you know it takes time you got to grow those females up you got to grow the males up you got to produce double triple heads and breed them to each other and then you got to get good luck and produce babies so that's how it goes though let me know in the comment in the comments below what combinations you'd love to see with paradigm and maybe you'll be the ones to create it boa breeding is an amazing thing there's so many, you know, that's snake breeding in general. It's just the limits are your imagination. And if you have a great imagination, you're going to produce some great snakes. So let's get to it. No more wasting time. Start breeding. All right, guys, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. Hit that like button. I'll see you back again tomorrow morning.